Hey everyone, it's Julie. I wanted to show you guys my produce co-op haul for the week. I participate in a produce co-op. It doesn't happen every week. I kind of do it as I feel I need it. And I've taken a couple weeks off because I was out of town and then I had something in the morning and I wasn't able to pick it up. But basically what it is, it's a co-op co in my area. It's non-profit. What they do is they basically have people buy into this co-op and they take the money and pool it towards different produce. You don't get to choose what produce you get, you get what they give you. So it takes a little creativity out of it, but it's a lot of fun and it's really quite inexpensive. Uh, I spend $15 and I get a regular gro uh, produce, or you can spend 25 and get organic. But um, I haven't done that. So I'll show you guys what I've got. Uh, it's called Bountiful Baskets, and their website is www.bountifulbaskets.org. Now, it's in my area and a few areas around me. I'm in Utah. I'm I think they're in California, Idaho, I'm not sure. But check it out. I mean, they could be in your area, or you could maybe look into it and see if there's a way to bring it to your area. So it's pretty cool. And, you know, also there could be something like this in your area. So especially for Bert, here's the glimpse of what I got. Okay. So, again, this is all $15. So I got a bunch of corn. So six corns, a bunch of bananas, four mango, six apples, and let's see, I don't know what kind they are. It looks like they're Fuji. Six Fuji apples, a uh, nice lettuce, a little bag of carrots. These are blackberries, some mushrooms, some Swiss chard, which I've never cooked before, um, so I'll have to play with that a little, figure out how to do it. Uh, a bunch of tomatoes, a bunch of Anaheim peppers, a cantaloupe, and that's it. So all that, 15 bucks. And it's fresh, it's delicious, it's basically from the same growers and, uh, I don't know what words I'm looking for, but basically the same suppliers that the grocery stores use. But it's just they're pooling the money together so we're able to get more for less because it's non-profit. So check it out, see if it's in your area. It's been a lot of fun doing it. It's helped me be more creative with my cooking and I've been enjoying doing it. I'm about to do the Weight Watchers Watch It, or Walk It, <laughs> uh, 5K. So it started a few minutes ago. We were kind of letting it thin out a little, but you see there's lots of people. Wish me luck. I'm going for 55 minutes. Okay, so I finished the 5K, and I'm pretty pleased with my time. I did 51 minutes. So I shaved off, like, a full 10 minutes from the previous one. And I really worked hard to get it going fast. This was a lot more crowded than the one I did the other day, last week, last Saturday. Um, this is the Weight Watchers Walk It one. I'll go ahead and show you guys my uh, certif certificate. Yay! There it is, my signature. It looks real good. But I walked it. Yay! So yeah, 51 minutes. I'm pretty pleased. My face is way red, and the sad part is I've been done for over a half hour and I'm still really red so it was a lot hotter today than it was last time and I felt it and so I'm glad I did it in 51 minutes yay I'll show you guys what I'm doing so over here I'm starting to get ready I've got a spaghetti squash I'm going to plant a crook neck well I guess it's a crook neck summer squash green zucchini and then I'm growing a pumpkin just a regular kind of pumpkin um, that's what I'm doing over on this side of my yard and then, normally I plant in this little corner over here. My dog has determined that this is prime cat catching area because the cats like to walk along the back fence. So I'm not planting anything there this year. Um, over here I'm planting a tomato. I think that one is a yellow pear. Red pear, oh my shadow's all in the way. A red pear tomato. Some cilantro. And this is an heirloom tomato called a cream sausage. Never tried it. Hope it's good. And then a bell pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and plant that stuff and see where we're at. Alright, so here's the end result. Here's my garden. There's my dog. Thinks he's a real funny guy. And then over here, I still have a ton of weeds. But that'll be something that gets worked out when it gets worked out. But here's the rest of my plants. You just have to put the little cages on them. So there you go. That's my lovely garden.